What's up guys this is Rani welcome back to our channel Total Technology this is tutorial 47 and today's topic will be how to create editable list box in your PDF so uh, I believe we have already covered how to create text box how to create a combo box how to create um, I believe uh, um, a radio button I'm not sure whether we have already done this radio button thing or not but probably in tutorial 44 45 and 46 we have done with all these things so the last topic which is left from the editable point of view is the list box so list box is kind of a combo box but you will get kind of a scroll scrollable feature so you can uh, scroll the combo box then it will become list box so without wasting much time let me just open the id okay this is tutorial 47 yeah yeah fine so let me start writing the code so it will be like from report lab dot PDF gen import canvas and next thing from report lab dot lead import colors okay that's it done then the next thing will be uh, just defining one PDF file object so this is going to be canvas dot canvas and uh, after that tutorial 47 dot pdf and after that we'll write something like uh, pdf dot uh, draw centered string and we'll define it kind of let's say 20 100 uh, list box one okay then x equals to pdf dot this is like uh, from the last tutorial this is the magic line so x dot list box and we'll give some value which is going to be the initial value so what i'll do i'll just make it like let's say um, we'll give some sort of like uh, food or country name okay so we'll give it India okay field color equals to let's say uh, color start mm, light sky blue okay then border color equals to color start black text color is equals to colors dot red border width is 5 border style is solid and let's say width is 100 height is let's do it is 50 x is 100 or let's say 50 y is mm, let's check y is going to be 80 so we'll put y 80 tool tip is uh, list box one example okay name equals to list box one and remaining things we we don't require only need the options so options will be kind of a, a, a will be either uh, what you say like tuple or list so in our case probably we can give list so we'll give some country name okay okay so this is going to be australia then usa then uk then India okay and then what we'll do we'll just save the file so PDF dot save okay so what is going to happen now if we run this thing we'll get a file the name will be tutorial 47 dot PDF and this point like this uh, 50 x equals to 50 and y to 80 location will get a text box inside uh, there some of the values will be there and by default the India will be selected so let's run this thing first 
so successfully executed let me refresh this thing now okay so we got this thing so now see it is here but india is already selected see this is a scroll level already okay okay so what i'll do i'll just uh, border width is going to be one and i don't need any border color but let's run this thing again yes so this is how it is see you can easily scroll these things so what i'll do i'll put some other values over here we'll see how it is react okay so for this let's write germany okay canada france let's run this thing again what happened i don't know okay i'm not sure what happened okay okay yeah see this is how it is so what i'll do i will move it a bit from here for that reason probably i can just shift this thing to like mm, 90 and let's run this thing again yep so this is working so now what i'll do i'll just change the height a bit so let's make it 200 and see how it goes yes well so the thing is that we're not getting scroll level feature so let's run this thing again well so we'll put some more countries value here now so probably we can put something like uh, uae some countries from middle east we'll put iran okay we'll put some values from europe again let's mm, let's put italy then portugal then belgium okay let's run this thing again see this is how it is so you can create multiple uh, mm, what do you say multiple uh, selectable item inside your list box like this okay so this is very simple okay so that's it guys uh, i hope you guys enjoying this tutorial so what i'll do i'll just take a copy paste of this thing okay and we'll try to put this here yes it's done okay mm, let me make it a bit smaller yeah it's fine and we'll try to okay fine so this is this is the last tutorial from the editable point of view like we have already covered text box list box combo box check box check box all sort of things to create interactive um, pdf forms now you can use all this uh, components whenever you require to develop some sort of like um, interactive capabilities for your application or for your report so i hope you guys uh, enjoying the series and if still you are having any doubts any clarification if you need any other topics uh, which you want to be covered inside your inside our this tutorial or else some of you are already working in some projects and there you are finding some difficulties you want to you want me to cover those topic as well please write me an email i will cover all those uh, topic 
in the form of exercise or use cases okay because i believe there are only four or five tutorials left i'm not sure about that and i need to check but not 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 uh not much uh, topics are left probably at max there will be six or seven tutorials not more than that so probably we'll take one or two weeks times to complete the whole series and after that um, we are done with the report lab okay so that's all guys that's all for today hope to see in the next video till then take care goodbye and don't forget to subscribe our channel hit the like button hit the bell icon so you should not miss any notification in the future videos okay so once again have a nice day take care and goodbye